The iPad has always been a device full of potential thin, lightweight, and filled with cutting-edge internals. Apple didn't hold back on the hardware, they gave us the M1, M2, and even the M4 chip in the iPad Pro, which is the same silicon used in MacBooks. The iPad Air is similarly powerful, and even the iPad Mini now packs the i 17 Pro chip from the iPhone 15 Pro. The base iPad is no slouch either with the A16 chip. Power has never been the issue. The real problem has always been software. iPados felt like iOS stretched across a bigger screen, and while it worked well enough for simple tasks, it never lived up to the professional potential the hardware suggested. But now, that narrative is changing. With the introduction of iPados 19, Apple seems poised to finally unlock the full power of the iPad. This isn't just about a fresh coat of paint or incremental changes. It's a massive transformation in how the iPad works, especially for those who want to do more than just browse, stream, or sketch. It's the update many have been waiting for, and it could fundamentally change the way we view Apple's tablet lineup. The most exciting development in iPados 19 is the long-awaited support for professional-grade applications. Until now, iPads were limited in functionality not because of weak processors, but because developers and Apple themselves hadn't allowed full desktop-class software to run on the device. Users have begged for real versions of Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro, and Exode not stripped-down versions, but the full-fledged programs you'd expect on a Mac. That dream is finally becoming a reality. iPados 19 is expected to support full-featured professional apps, and that changes everything. Imagine opening up the exact same version of Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop you use on your Mac, but now on a sleek and portable iPad. Or launching 3D modeling software with every function available. Developers could run full versions of Xcode with access to Git, terminals, and debugging tools. This isn't just about content consumption anymore. This is about content creation, serious development, and professional productivity. The software now finally matches the hardware, and that's a game changer. This shift also means that app development between macOS and iPados is becoming more seamless. Apple is encouraging developers to build universal apps that run just as well on an iPad as they do on a Mac. That opens up a world of possibilities, making the iPad a real contender as a primary work device. Alongside this, iPados 19 is introducing a completely revamped multitasking experience. For years, multitasking on the iPad has been a mixed bag. Split view and slide over were functional, but limited and often frustrating. They felt like mobile compromises rather than true desktop features. That's all about to change. Ipodos 19 will allow for full window management movable, resizable, and freely arranged windows, just like on a Mac or PC. If you're using a keyboard and trackpad with your iPad, this will feel incredibly familiar and empowering. No more rigid layouts. You'll be able to organize your workspace however you like, which is essential for tasks like editing, coding, data management, or even writing. The upgrade doesn't stop there. Apple is revisiting Stage Manager, a feature introduced in earlier versions of Ipodos that never quite met expectations. Stage Manager promised a more organized multitasking experience, but ended up feeling half-baked glitchy, confusing, and ultimately underwhelming. But with iPados 19, we're getting Stage Manager to point zero. This version promises to fix the kinks, smoother animations, smarter app snapping, better app grouping, and full external display support. When connected to an external monitor, your iPad won't just mirror its display, it will act like a second, independent workspace. You'll be able to run separate apps, drag windows between screens, and use your iPad as a full desktop computer. For professionals working on large projects, whether in video editing, music production, coding, or design, this is an essential feature. You can group your apps by project and switch between them with a tap, all while enjoying a more fluid, powerful interface. And perhaps the most anticipated change of all, desktop mode. This is something users have been dreaming about for years. Desktop mode will activate when a keyboard and trackpad are connected, transforming the iPad's interface into something far more structured and desktop-like. Expect a redesigned dock, a persistent menu bar at the top, and context-sensitive controls that shift based on the app you're using. This doesn't turn your iPad into a Mac, but it brings the best parts of macOS to a touch-first environment. 
you'll still have access to Touch and the Apple Pencil, but now you'll also benefit from the more formalized interface that supports real work. For those who love the iPad's portability but wish it had the tools of a full computer, this could be the perfect hybrid. External display support is also getting a serious upgrade. Gone are the days of screen mirroring with black bars and limited functionality. With iPados 19, your external display becomes a real second screen, not just a clone of the main one. This means you can run different apps on different screens, drag and drop files between them, and treat your setup as a true dual monitor workstation. For creatives, professionals and students, this makes a massive difference. Imagine editing a video timeline on your monitor while keeping your notes and scripts open on the iPad screen, or running code on the iPad while your output displays in full on an external screen. The iPad is evolving into a full productivity hub, not just a tablet with ambitions. All these upgrades signal something much larger than just another yearly update. iPados 19 represents a fundamental shift in Apple's philosophy toward the iPad. It's no longer just a device that sits between a phone and a laptop. It's becoming a fully realized computing platform in its own right. Whether you're a designer, developer, student, teacher, or business professional, this version of Ipodos is meant to make your work easier, more fluid, and more powerful. The line between iPad and Mac is getting thinner, and that's entirely by design. If you've ever hesitated to commit to the iPad as your main device, this might be the moment you've been waiting for iPados 19 doesn't just tweak what was already there, it redefines what the iPad can be. With this release, Apple isn't just making promises. It's delivering on years of user feedback and unmet expectations. It's a signal that the iPad isn't just a companion device anymore, it's ready to stand on its own. A device that once felt like an overpowered toy now feels like a professional machine. A tablet that once played in the shadow of the Mac is now stepping into the spotlight. With true desktop-like multitasking, full professional app support, powerful development environments, seamless external display functionality, and a refined interface that adapts to how you work, the iPad is finally becoming what it always had the potential to be. Apple has listened, refined, and taken bold steps forward. This isn't just a feature update, it's a complete evolution of the platform. The future of the iPad looks more promising than ever. As Apple continues to blur the line between tablet and laptop, the Podos 19 marks the start of a new chapter one where power and flexibility live in a sleek, portable form. If this is the direction Apple is heading, then the iPad is no longer just an accessory, it's the centerpiece. And we are only just beginning to see what it can truly become.